For the past few years, Airbus has been working on a project they call ATOL. ATOL, or A-T-T-O-L, stands for Autonomous Taxi Takeoff and Landing Project. From gate to gate, to taxi, takeoff and landing. The computer does the flying while the pilot plays words with friends, drinks coffee, and tries not to spill it on the control column. If you're a subscriber, you get that last joke. Well, Airbus just announced they have completed the ATOL project and they're pretty happy about the result. And I'm going to tell you about how pretty freaking cool the technology is. But I'm also going to tell you why I'm not a fan of ATOL at all. That's next on Maximus. Real quick before we start, if you enjoy the content here in the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to like and ring the bell so you can be notified every time we release new content. Thanks for watching. Greetings everybody, Maximus here. Well, you knew sooner or later they would get around to a pilotless airplane. After all, we already have driverless cars and waterless toilets. So why not airplanes? What could possibly go wrong? Like I said in the teaser, this is some really innovative technology, but stick around till the end and I'll tell you why I hope Airbus won't ever actually go through with this, at least not on commercial aircraft anyway. Airbus announced they are concluding their two-year project ATOL. ATOL stands for Autonomous Taxi Takeoff and Landing. In completing this project, Airbus has achieved autonomous taxiing, takeoff and landing of a commercial aircraft through fully automatic digital vision based flight tests using onboard image recognition technology, a world's first in aviation, according to Airbus. In total, over 500 test flights were conducted. Approximately 450 of those flights were dedicated to gathering raw video data to support and fine tune algorithms while a series of six flight tests, each one including five takeoffs and landings per run, were used to test autonomous flight capabilities. On December 18, 2019, in Toulouse, France, a modified A350-1000 Airbus successfully performed the first fully automatic vision-based takeoff using a combination of image recognition technology and flight computer control modifications. The test crew, comprising of two pilots, two flight test engineers, and a test flight engineer, took off initially around 10.15 a.m. local time. It conducted a total of eight takeoffs over a period of four and a half hours. According to Airbus's website, the aircraft performed as expected during all these milestone tests. After completing alignment on the runway and waiting for clearance from the air traffic control tower, we engaged the autopilot, said Airbus test pilot Captain Jan Bofill. We moved the throttle levers to takeoff setting and we monitored the aircraft. It started to move and accelerate automatically, maintaining the runway center line. At the exact rotation speed as entered in the system, the nose of the aircraft began to lift up automatically to the expected pitch value. And a few seconds later, we were airborne. Rather than relying on the ILS system, the instrument landing system used presently by airplanes at airports all around the world, this automatic takeoff was enabled by image recognition technology installed on the aircraft. The Airbus utilized the autonomous system called Wayfinder, developed by A-Cubed, the Silicon Valley Innovation Center of Airbus. The Wayfinder system also included several modifications and camera upgrades on the A350 to perform the test flight. Avionics upgrades were limited to the flight control computer and additional modifications were linked to the installation of cameras and additional computing capabilities linked to those cameras. Airbus Chief Technology Officer Grazia Vitadini told the American Institute of Aeronautics recently about another world first, a fully autonomous runway landing that occurred as part of a flight to Beijing to deliver urgent medical equipment to hospitals in Europe. We recently reached another new milestone. After performing the first fully autonomy-based vision takeoff, we have just achieved the first fully automatic vision-based taxi and landing this is the first time ever an aircraft has been able to take off, taxi, and land totally autonomously. The biggest difficulty in this was convincing the pilots to do nothing and keep their hands off the throttle, Vitadini said. Many aircraft are already able to land automatically, ATOL President Sebastian Giuliano said, but they're reliant on external infrastructure like instrument landing systems or GPS signals. 
Atoll aims to make this possible solely using onboard technology to maximize efficiency and reduce infrastructure costs. Sebastian says the Atoll team is working closely with the Wayfarer team to advance autonomous flight technology at Airbus. Based on computer vision and machine learning, the Wayfinder software enables an aircraft to detect its surrounding environment and calculate how best to navigate within it. Much like an autonomous car, it uses sensors such as cameras, radar, and LIDAR, a laser-based detection method, and powerful onboard computer. The key challenge for self-piloting capabilities is how the system reacts to unforeseen events. That's the big jump from automated to autonomous, he said. In addition to the technical challenges, autonomous flight technology must also gain public acceptance. Simply put, passengers are used to having two pilots on the flight deck. He said elevators used to have operators, for example, but that concept would seem strange today. With our track record of safety, Airbus is ideally positioned to drive this change. For Airbus, autonomous flight is not an all or nothing proposition. It is a tailored combination of human and machine that will evolve over time. Systems are focused on managing the aircraft while the pilot remains at the heart of the operation to take the decisions being presented with all the necessary information and given the time to analyze it. Airbus has not stated when or where it expects to eventually feature this technology within a commercial aircraft design. However, Airbus said their next steps are to focus on how to certify such technology and integrate it into future systems safely. So the future just keeps getting more and more amazing. A completely automated airplane from gate to gate. Now let me tell you why I'm not a fan. Don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on the technology. I'm just not a fan. Imagine you're a little kid with your family on vacation, waiting to board your plane to Disney World, Rome, or New Zealand. And suddenly you see the coolest thing ever. A real airline captain in his or her dress blues. And they give you that pilot wink and nod as they walk by onto the jetway. Then you watch them disappear into a bright glowing light. And that's the exact second you get the bug. You think to yourself, someday when I grow up, I want to be a pilot. What you don't fantasize about, however, is someday growing up to be a cockpit IT specialist, babysitting a computer, drinking a latte, playing Angry Birds. No, you want to feel the wind in your hair and the yolk in your hands as you soar through the clouds. Pilots want to be pilots for one reason. They want to fly the plane. Even the word pilot literally means to steer, not babysit. Well, that's what I think. How about you? Would you fly in an automated airplane? Let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and ring the bell. And remember, in the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus. <laughs>